In this episode, we're going down to San Jose del Cabo. This area comprises the metro of Los Cabos, Cabo San Lucas, San Jose, and the International Airport, all on the southern tip of the Baja Peninsula. Together, these cities have about 350,000 residents. Hey, a big shout out to Jan and her family. When we were there, Jan was actually in a cruise bus heading into San Jose, and our car was right in front of her. She messaged us here on our channel. Thank you, Jan, for being a part of our family and joining us on the journey. We just had a few hours and wanted to check San Jose del Cabo out. From the deep blue waters, the white sand beaches, palm trees, resorts, gorgeous architecture, to the many restaurants and shops, San Jose del Cabo is a great stop when you're exploring Baja California Sur, but beware. Later in this episode, we'll share with you the only negative experience we've ever had on the entire Baja Peninsula. Stay tuned. If San Jose del Cabo had a smell, it would be the smell of money. It's definitely, as Robin Leach used to say, the lifestyle of the rich and famous. From high-end spas to luxury cars, resorts, condos, and all the businesses that it takes to support that lifestyle, San Jose del Cabo is a tropical traveler's dream come true. Feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can Drive a faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town I 
drive a faster car. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. Nothing can break me. From candies and coffees to jewelry, clothing, and souvenirs, if you cannot find it in San Jose del Cabo, you probably didn't need it to begin with. While we were there, they were setting up for an artist and crafts fair, plenty to see, and some very creative and beautiful items. Okay, we saw a little bandana at the craft show that, well, Jenny and Renee just wanted it. Not for Renee, but for Jenny. And stick with us because in just a few minutes, we're going to get robbed and you're going to see it.
never run into anyone dishonest in Mexico until we visited Poncho's Leather and Jewelry in Del Cabo. The owner invited us into his store. He has a beautiful store filled with many traditional gift items, but since we drive our Subaru everywhere that we travel, we really don't have room for anything else, and we told him that we're not interested in buying anything. However, Renee did see a pair of earrings that she liked. Poncho, if that's his real name, gave us a price of 1,300 pesos. Now, I always figure that local merchants are struggling and so I don't want to lowball their quoted price. So I offered him 1,200 pesos, which is still way more than they were worth. He accepted until I pulled out my credit card. He told me that if I would pay the credit card service fee, he would accept credit card payment. No problem because my card is an international card, and the only fee would be less than 5% that Chase would charge the merchant. His assistant ran my card, I signed the receipt, and we left. It was about 25 feet later that I looked at the receipt. Their fee was extremely high. I wanted to just keep on walking, but Renee went back and asked about it. They told her that the fee they have to pay is 12%. That's, I know that's not real. I looked at the receipt again, did the math in my head, and I said to her, Wait a minute, they charged us 25% extra for the card. I don't like confrontation, so we just decided to walk away, never to make this mistake again. Now, before I aired this video, I emailed him at the email address that he has on his business card to give him the benefit of the doubt. The email address is bogus. We looked online, and he has tons of terrible reviews for doing the same thing to many other people who wander into his store. So if you visit the lovely city of San Jose del Cabo, shop everywhere else. Stay away from this store or you too will say, wait a minute, he just robbed us. Friend, thank you so much for joining us on the journey. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already done so, share the video. And don't forget we have another channel called Take a Breath. Go over there. If you like it, subscribe. We'd love to have you join us in that as well. Thank you, my friend. Dios te bendiga, mi amigos.